So last night I was meditating and basically for the entire day, I did like a 23 hour fast or something like that. I ended up breaking the fast at 2 a.m. and I got Jack in the box, but that's beside the point. I was meditating while fasted for all that time. And what I experienced was so profound and very exquisite in a way. So I'm really looking to transcend to my higher self, I guess, or the, the, the best version of me, you know? And I really want to change my life. So I ended up getting a vision board and I'm writing down all of my goals. And something that I never really realized is that when you write down your goals, like not when it's just inside of your head, you're just thinking about your goals because if you're just going through the motions then. But when you actually write them down, your goals go into your subconscious mind. And as a result of that, you just find that you have much more motivation to get things done and do the things that you need to do. So last night I was meditating and I'm actually in a period of my life where I'm actually trying to evaluate who I am and what I want to do. Um, so that's probably, that's, that's the reason I haven't really been posting on this channel that much because I'm actually trying to make a plan about the direction, the true direction that I want this channel to go towards, you know, um, I've really been making fitness content, but I started out making spiritual stuff. So I've really been evaluating myself, my strengths, my weaknesses, and just who I am as a person. Because I think you have to evaluate yourself. You have to essentially know who you are in order to be successful at anything in life. You have to, you know, evaluate where you are in this current moment and where you want to go so while I was meditating I basically you know how when you meditate you you know you start sometimes you'll think about random things random things will pop into your head and I actually had a vision of myself when I was a child and Something that was really insane and out of this world was the fact that I saw myself as a child, but that child, which was me, it didn't seem like I was connected to my child self. It doesn't seem like I'm even the same person. And it's really crazy. That's like spirituality when you think about it, because you know, you think about your younger self or you can you see your younger self in pictures and maybe videos or something like that. And you don't really like you don't feel like you're connected to that person, you know. And I think that's the reason why a lot of us struggle in life. We struggle to, you know, you struggle to really be yourself. You struggle to really uh, live your true, authentic life and your authentic purpose because essentially you're just not connected to yourself. You don't really know who you are. So as I was meditating and I was fasting, I felt like I was getting closer to who I actually am, you know? So I was praying and meditating. I was really working all day, which is, isn't a good idea to be working while you're fasting and stuff like that. But it's better to be just, just sitting around and like meditating, reflecting on who you are and what you want out of life and you know, it's focusing on God while you are fasting. But I had this really profound experience when I was fasting. Um, it was insane. And it, I, 
it I really came to like a realization that one of the reasons why I've been lacking clarity, I've been lacking happiness in general, or I haven't had much energy or motivation to really do anything. You know, it's like self-care, basic stuff, you know, basic human function, like showering or skincare or just grooming. It's like a chore. It's like exhausting. You know, it's like I wake up and I just want to get straight to work. Even eating is a challenge, too. So I think the reason for that is, A, I, I've really just been going through the motions with you know, work and everything. And I I didn't really have a clear goal in mind that I really want to reach. And when I say goal, see, we all have goals in our head, things that we, you know, we're like, yeah, it would be nice to achieve them, but I hadn't written down any goals at all. So when you write down your goals, it puts it, puts it in your subconscious mind that you're trying to obtain that goal. And then just, you, you just, end up getting more motivation to uh do that thing even though it's going to be hard it's not going to be easy you know and that's basically where i found myself at and right now i'm looking to make a big change in my life you know and obviously a big change on this channel i look at a lot of things that i want to do and I think that for the longest of time, I've really been putting things off. That's another reason. I've been putting things off. I've been, I'm supposed to start boxing. I really want to build my physique up, you know. And as far as the personal training, you know, online and coaching people, helping them achieve their fitness goals, that's still something that I want to do, you know. Even though I say I'm more of a creative person, it didn't really feel like I was being able to express my creativity with that I think that I was going about it in the wrong way and I'm just going to be honest with the fitness content where I was like ranting and saying yeah you'll get some women you'll improve your mental health you'll get money and all this stuff I I honestly think that when I was talking about those things it seemed like I was attracting a lot of morons to my channel you know a lot of people commenting and complaining about you know, oh, you know, women don't like you. You, there's no point in getting jacked. There's no point in doing anything in life. And you know, my face, my face is ugly and stuff like that. You know, I had a lot of guys commenting that stuff, and this took a toll on me. You know, here, all this negative energy. You know, around literally just improving yourself, which is a basic human thing to improve yourself. And you know, people complaining about it. So, I don't want to be trying to convince people to go to the gym, convince people to actually take care of themselves. Screw them. They are hopeless. But for the people who actually do care about themselves, people who want to improve, they want to better themselves, you know, I really want to be there for those people. People that are going through things and they really want to get in the gym. They really want a way to uh, just maximize their potential you know through whether it's exercising mental health spirituality uh their dating life stuff like that i really want to serve people in that regard you know what i'm saying so i think that i was going about it in the wrong way you know i, I more so want to make content where i'm like educating people about fitness about diet even about mental health and uh spirituality and stuff and i think i was going about all of this the wrong way so now i'm trying to implement i'm not going to say try i don't like to use that word <laughs> i got to get out of the habit of saying that now i'm going to implement new things new ideas that i have to bring this channel to life the way i really want it so i have a lot of beautiful and wonderful things in store you know for the future um so I think that'll be a great way for me to express my creativity. I'm going to do it, see if it works. If it, if it works, then I'll do it. If it doesn't work, then I'll find something else to do. Um, and then I also want to do game development. I, I have this dream that I want to literally make into a reality. And, you know, I was supposed to be going into boxing. I was supposed to be doing the game development, learning to play guitar. I want to put that on here also. I got so many things that I've been putting off. 
So no wonder I'm unhappy. I, 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 no wonder I feel unfulfilled. And if you're going through the same thing, this is the thing. This is what I've read, The Way of the Superior Man. I've been reading that book a little bit. I, I just started reading it. And one thing that I learned from that book so far is stop putting things off. Whatever it is that you really want to do, stop waiting to do that thing. Do it now. Do it right now in this very moment, you know. And videos like this, they don't really get many views. Well, many people don't really care about the spirituality and their mental and, you know, God and everything. They really just want to get women and, and, and uh, be promiscuous and stuff like that. And I'm not going to knock you for it. I, I, I don't I, I don't I don't I'm not going to knock you for it. I'm not going to judge you. But because you, you do what you want. But I'm here for the people who actually want to take their lives to the next level. That's what that's who I want to serve. And and in return, I'm taking my life to the next level, too, whether you like it or not. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, I'm talking about the haters and stuff like that, whether they like it or not. And this is where I'm going to be. This is what I truly want to do. And, you know, um, you really have to connect with your younger self, your inner child, because that's where your peace is. That's where your happiness is. That's where your joy is. I feel like all the things of this world truly disconnect you from your younger self or whatever. And that's what I'm on the journey to do is reconnect with my inner child, you know. It was a really profound experience. I and I'm actually fasting again. I'm gonna give it give it another try. I really wanted to fast for the weekend, but you know nobody's perfect. And I was evaluating my strengths and weaknesses, which I really recommend that you do the same. But you know, I wrote you know some of my strengths. I'm definitely creative, optimistic, and uh, ambitious and stuff like that. And you know, adventurous and stuff something else like my weaknesses i'm definitely a perfectionist that's one thing i struggle with i want to get things perfect to the point where i don't even put a video out because i don't feel like it's good enough you know what i'm saying and that right there is like holding me back you know that, that, that that's been holding me back so we're gonna do this the way we're gonna do it and we're gonna see how things go so just remember wake up meditate pray you know what i'm saying consume positivity be around positive people and just improve your life the best you can you know and work towards a goal and if, if, if there's one thing a couple of things you want to you learn from this video write down your goals write them down write them on a big old board so every morning you wake up and you look at those goals and you see them you know what i'm saying that's what you got to do uh, make it better but yeah my name is raheem you found this video helpful go ahead subscribe to the channel like the video we i want we need youtube to get this push this video out so everybody can hear this information and start becoming the best version of themselves and that will be all to the next video see it see you see you on another <laughs> can't, can't speak today uh see you on the other side raheem Never give up. Your younger, your younger self is rooting for you. Peace.